Hi. Hi. Hi guys. I oh I see a thumbs up, honey. <laughs> Thank you for the early like and welcome. Hey. Hello, hello. Now I have not been on here for a minute, so um yeah. Now I'm kind of thinking I mean before I'm just waiting for like a few people to come on or something but um yeah I'm excited about this topic and I'm thinking that I'm going to be doing live streams a bit more I think that it's just more fun more interactive and that way I don't have to worry about recording a video editing the thing and then it's just too much so this works out a bit better for me I think hi ladies i'm seeing people coming in okay i'm not seeing your comments so i'm going to get my laptop okay i'm not seeing comments so let me set this up on my laptop so i can see you guys hi can you hear me properly can you hear me well or not really I disappeared, honey, I know. Okay, let me try and pull the comments because that's really, really small. I'll have to put my glasses on. <laughs> I could not see that properly. Okay. I'm just trying to go into my chat. Okay. Okay, let me let me make this a bit bigger. Okay, how is my how's the internet as well? Is it good? I hope so. Okay. So, I'm seeing comments. Hi ladies. Oh my gosh. Angela Azia Milena, Azia, hi everyone, the ultimate girlfriend. So I've basically just been like, I've just been living my life and obviously like, I'm um, just being busy. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been doing. I feel so bad of how like, um, how, you know, unreliable I've been to you ladies. I've said to myself, look, I'm going to really start dedicating time out to you instead of you know ghosting every two seconds makes me feel really bad um oh see we're connected we're in sync hey lena how tall are you you look very petite in the thumbnail <laughs> yeah um i'm five foot one yes i'm in a new place so that's been another reason why i've been busy moving Oh my god, I was just telling myself where is Ziva and boom, you popped in here. See, girl, that's your law of attraction. It's working for you. Um, oh, okay. Hey, Kama. Okay, so. <laughs> Guys, thumbs up the video. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Because um, I'm thinking to start doing more live streams. I'm trying not to show you any, you know. Rachel, oh Rachel, yes, 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 I remember. I remember. The ultimate girlfriend, yes, honey. Can be seriously busy. Okay, so I hope everyone's doing well. I see four likes. Let's get those likes up a tiny bit more for me, please. Yay, that's good. Where well, I was going to ask you whereabouts are you in London, but yeah. <laughs> yes i am very small my mom and my older sister are five foot four it's like a that's, that's a cute height um okay all right so let's get into this video okay so i called it freak and dress you know <laughs> i love beyonce i had to put her into this video somehow um so freak and dress to wear or not to wear now the reason why i did this video is because i get so many um questions sent to me and you guys are like i have a date should i wear this does it look good should i wear this should i not wear this should i wear this should i not wear this 
Um, okay, so. Near, near Dulit, okay. I, yeah. Oh, you should come, come back. <laughs> come back. You're going far, honey. Okay. Thank you, Naira. This dress, I don't know. I think this was from Boohoo. I think it was from Boohoo. Okay, so. Right, so you guys are sending me these messages all the time. Now, I'm going to say this. If you have to send a message and ask, should I wear this? Does it look okay? Then, do you know what? Maybe it's not the best thing that you could wear. Because when you put that thing on, Guys, show me if I'm showing, tell me if I'm letting anything show. The bra that I'm using just pushes the whole go. All right, so. If you are having to ask that, then it probably means that you're not putting on the thing that is going to make you, as soon as you put it on, you're like, yes. When you put that outfit on, you will not need to send a message and ask me if what you're wearing is okay. So. If you have things in your wardrobe and you put it on and you're like, oh, does it look okay? Does this look decent? Is this good enough? Then it may look acceptable, but it's not the best you can do. Okay, so I, actually I'll show you, I'll show you an example right now of something that I would wear on a date. Okay, one moment, <laughs> one moment. I'll show you guys. Um, I I would wear. Okay. Okay, so I would wear something like this. Now this one is still brand new. I still haven't actually worn it yet, but I would wear something like this. And I will do a video where I try things like on for you. I think it would be better, but um so it looks kind of it gives you it kind of makes you think of that you're just wearing this and it's see-through and then there's skin underneath because of the color and it's long so this actually comes up i think it's about here so just below my knee if you're taller then it will probably be knee length for you but for me it's midi and as you can see you're going to have cleavage as well you're not showing everything like you don't have something really mini on like, like mini plus boobs it's sexy i'm going to say classy ish but at the same time it's like he can see everything that's going on but in in a tasteful way okay so i would wear something like this with a pair of heels um so that's that's what i would wear um or, I don't know, or depending on like the weather, you could wear something long sleeved as well. Um, but that's, that's the kind of thing that I would wear. If I was going on a date, okay. So that dress is from Opoly. Yeah, that's from Opoly and they have so many nice things. Um, yeah, so that's the type of thing I would wear. Your... Oh, well, you're good, honey. That sounds like a nice... That sounds like a good place to live then. Um, but yeah, as long as you're happy and it's easy for you to get in central London, then that's okay. Um, but yeah, that's the type of thing that I personally would wear on a, on a date. I feel like that is a freaking dress because once you get into that, okay, it's, it's silhouette. It's, it's silhouette. And he's going to know what you're working with, but at the same time, you're not showing midriff, plus thighs, plus boobs, plus everything that you can show. So you're doing it in a tasteful way, but you're putting, you know, you're showing him what, what's, what's really good, basically. Um, yeah, sexy, but not, not, too, not too over the top, not too in your face. So that's the type of thing I would wear. And if you're not putting something on and instantaneously you're like, yes, 
like I'm going to have him in my hands I can after three or four dates I know if I keep on dressing like this that I can get what I want then you're not wearing the right thing okay you're not wearing the right thing and you may need to buy some different things uh well you do need to buy different things um if you're on a budget then you can still look good and look cute on on a budget i would suggest if you are on a budget for you to get like two really nice dresses that you can wear if you have a black one especially then you can he might not even tell the difference <laughs> that you're wearing this dress a couple of times um but also if you have a pencil skirt and a couple of tops or a few tops then you can alternate if you are on a budget okay um it's super sexy i won't wear it on the first date though i you don't want to give too much too soon i would definitely wear it okay that's cool um hey linda for me i just feel like your first date is that first impression and you cannot redo a first impression i have done th this is just for me every woman is going to be different than who you're dating and your own experiences is going to be different but for me when i have dressed more in more of a conservative way on a first date things have been one way when i have come and bam on you on the first date then it's so much easier so much quicker to get what you want um so that's just what i suggest personally when you go on a first date and you are very conservative that you've already missed your your chance to really wow that person when you go on the second date and you're trying to do it he's like oh yeah all right um i personally would wow on the first date it's very very important and i would not hold back for me um but yeah i've done both i've done both okay i loved it hey miss p i like long tight dresses more than revealing ones literally literally me um me too so this dress that i'm wearing obviously it's short it's booby as well i would not wear this um on a date i have worn this on a drape uh, on a date but i wore it with one of my um one of my pleated midi skirts so i had boobs but it you know otherwise this is just too much so i i agree i loved it what about the daytime dates i thought those wild dresses are more for dinner and nighttime yeah absolutely sorry i was not clear about that that's something i would wear in the evening if I was on a lunch date, then I would wear a pencil skirt and either a pair of like, you know, sock boots or uh, a pair of um, closed toe heels and a top that is tight fitting with, with boobs. That's what I would wear if it was a lunch date in winter. Um, or a dress or a dress i do have okay i'll give you an example actually um because otherwise sometimes it's difficult i think for people to get what i mean this is inside out but you can you can get the, you can get the gist um this looks so tiny but it's because it's very very stretchy okay and this it's actually off the shoulder so if it's in the daytime it's not too revealing at all so this is off the shoulder but it's still I think it's sexy enough okay and it's very long so on me it comes up about here and I would wear it with a pair of ankle boots and a long coat that's something I would personally wear um, or I would do the other thing that I said, the pencil skirt and maybe like a cute blouse, you know, so it just depends. Um, yeah. Depends on the place that you're going, who you're going with, the, the weather. Because <laughs> if it's freezing cold and you're wearing something that like 
it doesn't make sense it looks too it looks like you're trying too hard if that makes sense um so i guess it depends but it's better to look too overdone than to look too boring and crusty and underdone undercooked something flowy is always nice for lunch dates something flowy maybe a pleated skirt you know with a bardo top that is a tight fitting top that's just me i like to wear tight fitting things on top most of the time so yeah okay good after good afternoon my love oh you've changed your name again all right should you wear stilettos if you're if you're going on a date i don't wear stilettos are you talking about like super super high i don't wear those i i think it looks a bit tacky um unless it's chunky and it's like more casual then i would wear something high but like six inches five inches i think it just looks i don't like i don't like that look i think it looks silly if you just mean like thin heels but not high um then it 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 depends it, you have to go by how it looks i guess it depends if it's not too high then and it looks decent then yeah because you've got to think about the guys who you're meeting they they're not tom dick and harry you know they're used to they are used to more conservative looking women so they you can't just go in there all guns blazing sitchins stiletto beyonce heels you have to give them the beyonce wow factor but tone it in a bit and give a splash of the conservative side that he needs otherwise he would, he just won't even know what to do with you <laughs> and i'm i'm talking about trial and error because i've done way too conservative i've done you know risque things and now i'm in the middle of the road but a bit more towards the sexy side i try to do do you know what sometimes i say to myself would kim k wear this would beyonce my queen wear it <laughs> and if i think no then i'm not going to buy it because otherwise it just doesn't make sense all right, so are over the knee boots okay for a first date? I would not wear over the knee boots on, no. I personally wouldn't, unless they are maybe leather with a heel, then I would wear those, okay? But then you'd have to wear like 10 denier tights and something about as short as my dress, but you know, not showing all the boobs as well. So yeah, I would. Okay, hi Shooks, miss you too, my love. Okay, sorry I missed it. Did you say it's better to dress conservatively or more out there on the first date? I said it's better to dress more, more on the sexy side. I think that's always the best way to go for a first date. I feel like that is when you create that wow factor, that first impression. You cannot do that ever again. And I feel like it's very, very important to go on your first date all guns blazing so that's what i suggest um and also perfume wise it has to be the right scent in my last video i spoke to you guys about pen halogons um i have the box here actually but not the perfume right like right here it's in my dressing table thing um pen halogons changing constants is amazing and like when I go out and wear this, I have, um, yeah, when I go out and wear this, I have men that have actually said, oh my gosh, I love your perfume. And that has been a conversation starter. So get yourself some changing constants. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so... Rachel said, you want something 
wait where's it gone you want something you don't have to worry about while they're fit etc you need to feel sexy and confident and focus on him and the date yeah literally because you don't want something like what i'm doing right now i'm just wearing the wrong bra with this but um basically if you're like going like this all the time it's just it's not it's not good so you just make sure don't do what i've done right now make sure that you're wearing the right things so you can just focus on your you know your date and the conjuring <laughs> you know just focus on what you need to do this makeup is gorgeous oh thank you emily what what time is it girl do I look like Mr. Wolf? Uh, okay. This red lipstick is gorgeous. Thank you. This is... What is this? I think this is NARS. Yeah, this is NARS. Don't stop. Just saying hi, dropping in. Good morning, beautiful. Oh, good morning, my love. Okay, so. Winter styling tips. I actually do. I'm so sick and tired of saying I'm going to do one thing and not doing it that i am going to actually do it this weekend I, I keep saying to myself that i need to be more consistent so i have remember i did my feminine makeover video well i want to do one for winter so that's going to be in it so remember i was basically narrating here and then I was showing like different suggestions on the screen. That's what I want to do. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay, so Angela says, I have a funny story. I wore an off the shoulder shirt and I adjusted it a little and the man on the date was started acting up like being flat out suggestive and rude and when I asked him why he wait why he thinks he could talk to me like that he said that fixing an off the shoulder shirt was a sign girl is he he is crazy um really <laughs> I think he had one too many drinks you know you see that's the thing most men do not understand women at all but i think that it's a good thing that he thought that that was the, the signal the signal he wished okay he wishes that would happen he he made that up in his mind because he wanted it so badly um but i think it's a good thing that he thought that that was the signal because you want him to think that you want him so you actually had him right where you wanted him. All right. So excited for that video. Yeah, do not look frumpy. I would say the main thing to stay away from in winter are bulky knitted jumpers. I would say that's the main thing. When you're just trying to like, you know, go to the supermarket, run errands, you know, you want to be cozy at home, fine. But when you're going out like that, do not wear anything those bulky knitted jumpers are just like the worst thing ever like okay so hmm. <laughs> yes i will save this live stream I, I will save this one sophia sophia is that your real name so that's really really pretty um okay are you guys actually dating right now i kind of gave up on it lol i miss male company yes i am um so right now in london we are on we are in our second lockdown so far it's lasted one week we have i think it's been like 10 days we have like we have a couple of weeks to go and it ends on the 2nd of December, but you're still allowed to meet people and stuff, but it has to be outside, it's very awkward. Um, so I am, but not physically on a date yet, right now, because I'm not walking around with anybody. Okay, if that makes sense. 
Canada Goose parkas. No, I, I don't wear parkas, no. When you say parka, you, you, you're, you're talking about the long, like the puffy jackets. Is that what you mean by parka? Um, because you're saying Canada Goose, so I'm guessing like the feathers, so it's like a puffy jacket. Is that, is that what you mean? Um, I don't wear anything like that. I personally wear, I have a trench coat that I wear and like a couple of other things, but they are more thicker hugging. That's what I wear. Okay. I know, lockdown's so annoying. Are you online dating then? Um, no, like these are people that I've already met. You know, one of them's from a long time ago, honey, but I'm still with. Um, and this other one as well that I met just before the lockdown, kind of. Okay, so. All right. Wait, I have a pretty big butt, so I have to kind of try hard to look conservative. It shows in everything I wear, it's annoying. Oh, you know, Honestly, it would show in everything because if you're wearing something tight, it's going to be out there. If you're wearing something that is pleated and you're trying not to show it, it will make it look bigger. I feel like you just have to embrace it. That's what I think. And even if you're wearing something and it's showing, um, it's showing your your you know your figure, your curves. Maybe just wear something that is higher up here because your curves look so sexy anyway like you don't even need to do everything i need to do <laughs> so um that's what i would say you just have to embrace it and you can't hide it so go with it and cover up up here a bit more um put on some red lipstick and all of that stuff okay yeah I have date options. I met two online, but I'm overweight. Should I wait before dating? I'm having weight loss surgery. I never understand what, what that is. Are you saying, oh, the, it's the 12th, no, the 10th of December, you're saying, right? However, I'm very, because we do it the other way around here, that's why. Um, however, I'm very pretty and I know how to dress and classy for my frame. Um, I would still go on the date. I would go on the date or on the dates. I would still go. I think that sometimes you just go out because it's fun. Even if it doesn't lead to anything, you've had fun. You've had a nice meal, a nice conversation. And yeah, you've had a nice time. I would still go regardless of whether I think I look at my best or not. I still don't think I look at my best and I'm still going on dates. So I think you should go. I definitely do. Um, and good luck with your surgery. You know, I'm sure you've like done your research and everything. Just make sure that, you know, you've done your research. Basically. Yay. Zeba, oh my god, I always miss your videos of your lipstick. Hey, mummy's girl. Mummy's girl, oh, you're actually British or Australian or something. Hey, hon. Miss P says, I'm so proud of you. You don't understand. I've been here since the beginning of your journey. I remember. I remember your name. I remember you on my videos. I remember you in my comments. Um, I remember you, girl. Royalty says, hey, I don't know if I missed it, but where is your dress from? It's really pretty. Um, thank you. So those boots that I put in the, the thumbnail, they are from Debenhams by the, the actual company's Faith. So I bought them in Debenhams and this dress is from Boohoo. Um, okay. What would you say are the most important clothing pieces to have in a feminine wardrobe? Um, so winter wardrobe staples or just in general, 
um i feel like i'm going to put that in the feminine you know makeover video but i would say you just need to have like pencil skirts and tight 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 tops that, that's what i'm gonna say and that goes for summer that goes for every single season okay that's what i say okay all right so i think i'm i think i think i've done all of your all of your questions and stuff all right so let's go back to the freakum dress all right because freakum dresses are going to be different for different women like i think it was carmen was it carmen i think it was carmen okay so like carmen says she's you know very curvy at the bottom so she's going to put on something that may be different to what another woman who is very flat on her bottom half would do okay so the freakum dress is going to be what is a freakum dress for you and your body okay something that i might wear might not work for you um so you've got to do what's right for you okay what's right for you and your body what you put on and you're like yes this is it this is what i'm wearing tonight if that's the reaction that you have imagine the reaction from him okay he's going to be eating out the palm of your hand so it's about making that right choice for you not just listening to what other people say and what i say all right so i'm trying to get my makeup look together i want a similar look to yours but it's hard to get a foundation match during covid um i'm still using a foundation that is just not the best shade for me i also wanted to get a new foundation everybody on here was suggesting pat mcgrath to me i left it way too late and we went into second lockdown so <laughs> I'm in the exact same predicament as you. You're just going to have to wait and literally make do with what you have. Hey Lillian. All right, so I've been watching you for a year at least. I remember the first time I went on a date with a potential. I was so scared and shaky, but your videos gave me so much confidence. Oh, well, that's really, really good that's good to hear and i'm happy about that i feel like when you're going on these dates as long as you feel confident in you, what you're wearing you know that you have nothing to fear you have nothing to be nervous about he's only not going to be interested if you're not wearing your freakum dress okay basically Pat McGrath is a good one. Yeah, that's what you guys are all recommending to me. So that's what I'm going to get. If they have my shade, you know what it's like. If you have brown skin, you know that is very difficult to get our shade. So yeah, we'll see. I'll see if they have my shade. I don't want to be having to mix two, three, four, five, six foundations together. Hey Jazzy. Hey Jazzy Posh. Um, but yeah. Anyway, guys, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to bounce. I just recorded a video before this one. And <laughs> yeah, I think that one would be good and funny. Um, yeah, don't forget to thumbs up the video. And if you have any extra questions before I go, then let's do them now. How would you dress? How would you dress sexy? if you have to cover your body so for me i cover head to toe but maybe i could do pleated. oh okay um there are still lots of things um you you can do because you could be wearing a polo neck dress that is full sleeves that maybe you put a waist a belt around your waist even if it's not fitting like if it's not figure hugging at all you could put a belt around your waist um if you wanted to you could also wear a turtleneck remember if, if you're wearing a padded bra and you're wearing a turtleneck he's still going to see what's going on okay so there's no way he can escape 
was in front of him okay so he's still going to see that you've got your paddy bra on honey you've got on your turtleneck and you have on your long it could be a maxi length pleated skirt and you've really obviously beat your face he's still going to say okay she's she's got something under there or you know when you're walking his guys have like x-ray vision when it comes to women's bodies and what's underneath it what's underneath the clothes so he's still going to know what's going on so you can still do it this is me for a a first date when you're doing those those first few dates is for me i'm putting out the freaking dress if your freaking dress needs to be adapted for whatever reason then you make those adaptations and you cover it up a bit more but you still let him see what's going on okay so yes i moved okay so just shopping for pencil skirts you need a red one you need a white one you need a black one you need a nude color one as well <laughs> so happy shopping okay um are you attracted to all the men you date tandy says um no but like sometimes it can be a no and then when you're getting to know somebody it's a straight up yes um because i like certain things that maybe other people don't like i have a really big thing for like hands i like particular hands if you got those hands i might be interested if you can give me that eye contact and you know what you're doing with your finances and how to put your finances over over here then you become even more attractive um that's just it for me so if you're talking about oh my gosh he's got a six pack he's like his body's like oily and hair free and oh my gosh uh i i don't date anybody like that no you know why because i've done it before and you have seen my story times it just doesn't work out because we're both we're both obsessed with him okay he's obsessed with him i'm so into him and it just doesn't make any sense so i try to not um well not i try i would not not date a man just because of his looks i think that is i think that's shallow so for me i don't even factor in the looks there are things that i prefer or that i would like for somebody i'm dating to have but if they don't have it but they treat me how i want to be treated i'm very happy oh thank you so much naira i'm waiting for this to come up on the big screen so i can actually read it <laughs> you know i cannot see it takes a couple of seconds for it to come up on this one but thank you very 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 much okay here we go love that you are currently dating and share your lessons learned you don't make it wait you don't make it out that this is super easy and perfect thanks for the real oh you're welcome you're welcome i really do appreciate that thank you so much for blessing me with your coins um but yes it it's not always easy to be honest it's not always easy i have had ups and downs because some men it's a lot easier to get into their pockets than others um some men are more generous than others some da 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 you know so it's not always easy to be to be honest and it's trial and error like i've always said it's trial and error so yeah but thank you so much for that naira i really appreciate that and i will continue to give you guys the real okay all right so linda do you have any shapewear recommendations what to do about 
bloated belly you know linda you're not going to like what i'm going to say but i'm just going to tell you that if it is bloating then you must cut out the sugar and the carbs um because it could be it could just be that and as soon as you cut that out you might be fine there could be one thing that you're having that your body does not agree with and that's why you get the bloating and cutting that one thing would solve that whole problem um for me i love caramel lattes they bloat me but i still drink them um but i know what it is that makes me very bloated so and croissants <laughs> i'm kind of obsessed with them so you've got to you know you've got to you've got to think about it do you want to be going to the shape bar all the time or do you want to really get rid of the bloating um but if it's shape where you're after then i don't really wear shapewear but um yeah i don't really wear shapewear what i do wear is you know like leggings that you can buy on like amazon um and they have like the lace around the i have like loads of them i wear those because they really show your waist when you're wearing something so i i kind of wear those um and that gives me a bit more shape but in terms of like shape by shape wear just look online just look online i'm sure you'll find somewhere okay all right so guys all right cc said do you care about ugly children no i do not care about ugly children um no i don't care about ugly children at all and honestly if i had children i wouldn't think they were ugly even if other people did probably so yeah guys when i was a child i was very scary and very scary so my mom used to joke about that all the time um so they might look one way when they're young and then blossom into something else <laughs> okay so yeah she actually used to say i looked like old shrivelly man <laughs> love love you mom yeah that's what she used to say to me um anyway so okay guys i'm going to love you and leave you and i need to go and do some food shopping i need to go to waitrose it's very exciting over here it's very exciting um so that's that's going to be my day <laughs> guys thumbs up the video and thank you again to it was Naira, wasn't it? Thank you again to Naira for the coins. Okay, have a lovely weekend. You too. Have a lovely weekend, guys. And remember, if you are not in lock lockdown like I am, you're going on your date, get your freaking dress out. And your aim is to dress to impress, okay? It's not to dress to bore. It's not to dress to please other you know women who are judging that are around it's to impress that person who you are on a date with so that when the time comes you can get what you need to get okay that first impression is very imperative it's very paramount and if you mess it up then you could be messing up things later on imagine you go on a first date with somebody you don't wow factor it up he goes on a date the next evening with somebody else who does she pulls everything out the bag you're going to be old news okay and then you're going to try to you know make up for the non freaking dress on date two he's all and then the next girl she's already she's wowed him two times you've only wowed him once it's just not the best it's not the smartest thing to do wow him from date number one and you should be good okay okay guys so i'm going to love you and leave you and i'll see you in my next video bye bye guys thank you so much for staying with me on the live by the way and um yeah thank you for staying with me <laughs>